Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode we're going to be talking about NFL quarterback statistics. What matters? What doesn't matter? Yards per attempt, does that matter? Touchdown to interception ratio, does that matter? Uh, completion percentage, does that matter? What matters at the NFL level when it comes to winning football games? And I think it's a very important thing to discuss, to talk about, because we have lots of people that, you know, for whatever reason, they're trying to figure out what, what's the secret sauce. You know, what's the most important thing to look at when it comes to quarterback evaluation? A lot of people criticize, of course, Derek Carr and uh, for his signing because his yards per attempt were kind of low. But let's just look at the facts. Uh, you know, nobody really takes a chance to sit down and actually look at what stats matter. Uh, and, and, and what they don't matter. And, and that's the biggest issue I have with, with analytics in general is people who say a metric or they say something in, in terms of a, a data point, but they don't actually show you the significance of that data point. People talk about pressures, but they don't actually give you actual numbers showing that teams that have more pressures lead to more football game wins. Uh, teams who have higher rushing efficiency have higher chances of winning football games like the bottom line is winning football games should be the goal in whatever data that you're looking at you know um it should not really be about how many football games you you know like fantasy football like that really isn't what data should be geared towards at least when it comes to nfl evaluation because the most important thing at the end of the day is getting the w is getting the win and that's exactly what we're going to be looking at today we're going to be looking at all the stats for the most part the big ones, touchdown to interception ratio, that's a big stat that people pay attention to and talk about. Completion percentage, that's a big stat that people talk about as well. Uh, yards per attempt, obviously, a big stat that people talk about. Adjusted yards per attempt, quarterback rating, and we're going to be looking at all that stuff over a 10-year span from 2007 to 2016 NFL season. And the only thing, the only term you may not be familiar with is win percentile, but all win percentile is, that score, win percentile, is simply the average, uh, it, it basically takes the win percentage, you know, if you went 500, if you went, if you won 12 games out of four, you had a, a set, you know, 0 0.750, it takes that number and normalizes it to every single team from the 2007 to 2016 NFL draft class uh, just because that's just kind of what you should do you should kind of normalize this stuff uh, to, to break it up into percentiles because that's what you usually try to do in data you know that way you don't confuse people or at least try to not confuse people as much uh, but that's that win percentile is going to be a big crux of this the higher a guy scores in win percentile means that that's a player that was on a football team that had a winning record for the most part uh, if you have a 50 score at win percentile, you had a 500 team for mo most of the time. If you have a 75 win percentile score, you're about a 10 win team. If you have a 90 percentile score, you were likely a 13, 14 win team. And probably the best team, you know, was, of course, the New England Patriots in 2007 with an uh, undefeated season. Uh, so that is what we're going to look at. We're going to look at all these numbers see what the data says about these numbers and ultimately ultimately make a conclusion about what data matters to winning football games on Sundays and what is some other data that people really shouldn't be paying attention to that much. So the first uh, stat we're going to look at, at least the first sort of thing we're going to look at, is what stats matter. And the best way I could figure this out, at least attempt to figure it out, is if you have above average stats, what's your win percentile? You know, basically you take all the players that had above average adjusted yards per attempt, all the players that had touchdown to interception ratio, above average scores in that, all the players that had above average quarterback rating, above average yards per attempt, and above average completion percentage, and then look at what the average win percentile was for those quarterbacks. You know, if you had above average touchdown to interception ratio, what was your most likely win percentile? And when you look at the data from that perspective, adjusted yards per attempt was a 61.10 win percentile. 
Touchdown to interception ratio was a 60.56 win percentile. Quarterback rating was a 60.46 percentile. Yards per attempt was a 59.67 win percentile. And completion percentage was the least likely with a 59.28 adjusted uh, you know, uh, win percentile. As you can see, at least what you should conclude from what I just said, was there really isn't much of a difference between adjusted yards per attempt, touchdown to interception ratio, quarterback rating, yards per attempt, completion percentage, when it comes to winning football games. All that you can really say is that when you have above average adjusted yards per attempt or above average touchdown to interception ratio or above average any one of these statistics, you're more likely to have a winning team, a winning football team. Um, so when you actually look at the numbers and you look at all the quarterbacks that had above average numbers, whether it's adjusted touchdown substration, quarterback rating, yards per attempt, completion percentage, there really statistically is no, there's no significance. Um, it doesn't really matter whether you have an above average adjusted yards per attempt or an above average touchdown to substance ratio or a quarterback rating, uh, like in terms of the significance of those numbers it really doesn't matter when it comes to having at least a winning football team. Uh, so in, in the big picture. So that's the first thing I just wanted to kind of point out is when you actually look at these statistics from a basis of, you know, stepping back and look at these numbers, it really doesn't matter. Like the difference between, you know, what number matters, it's, it's really about who, who has an above average number. Is really the big thing here uh, and we'll get into some more specifics as we get a little bit higher but for the most part when you look at the numbers just just to have a winning football team you don't really need to have a guy who has you know above average in everything uh, as much as at least having one thing that's above average but having said that you will see a clear difference in the averages of these particular data points when you actually look at the teams and, and like the teams actually had winning games so for example uh, the average scores of 50 percentile or higher in terms of win percentile these are teams that were 500 or better is essentially what we're talking about the average touchdown interception ratio for a quarterback with a with a 500 or better team was 72.31 out of 100 the average for quarterback rating was 72.29. The average for adjusted yards per tip was 71.07. Completion percentage was 68.42 out of 100. And yards per tip was 68.03 out of 100. Uh, so when you actually look at what the averages are for, for all the quarterbacks that, had, that were on teams that were 500 or better, you start to see you know, subtle changes. Uh, in terms of that particular area. And then when you get into 80 percentile or higher, things start to bump up a bit. Uh, the average for touchdown to interception ratio is 80.93 out of 100. Adjusted yards per attempt is 78.83 out of 100. Quarterback rating is 76.82. Yards per attempt is 73.89, so it, it went up just a little bit. Completion percentage was 72.70. And these are teams that 80 percent all higher so we're talking about teams that win 10 games or more on those teams their quarterbacks are performing better on average in touchdown to interception ratio adjusted you know adjusted yards per attempt quarterback rating yards per attempt and completion percentage so you start to see a pattern here that as you improve on any one of these numbers your wins start to go up and then finally ending with, of course, the average scores with 90 or higher win percentile. 90 or higher, again, is teams that are winning 12 games, 13 games, 14 games uh, to undefeated. And when it comes to teams that win that many games, touchdown to, to interception ratio, the average with teams like that is 91.29 out of 100. Quarterback rating is 90.03 out of 100. Adjusted yards per attempt is 88.76 out of 100. Yards per attempt is 82.29, and completion percentage is 80.78 out of 100. So what does this all mean? Well, the first thing it means is that the, whole, the old cliche that just because your quarterback performs well on the stat sheet doesn't mean that he's performing well in terms of winning football games is patently false. 
when you just look at the numbers, um, when you just look at the data, uh, quarterbacks that are performing high, you know, elite in terms of touchdown to interception ratio, quarterback rating, yards per attempt, adjusted yards per attempt, completion percentage, these are quarterbacks that typically more likely than not are winning more football games than their peers. Same thing goes with 80% dollar higher, same thing goes with just teams that are 500. Even teams that are 500, they usually have quarterbacks that are above average in uh, the majority of these metrics, these, these sort of data points in terms of uh, their statistics. The other thing that we can somewhat conclude though, is that yards per attempt and completion percentage are just not as important as touchdown to interception ratio, quarterback rating, and adjusted yards per attempt when it comes to higher end win outcomes. Uh, so essentially, if, you're t if you want to be a team that wins 12 games, 14 games, 15 games, you know, basically wins a lot more games than your peers, 80 percentile or higher when it comes to your win percentile. Uh, yards per attempt is important. It definitely is. But as you can see with the 80 percentile and the 90 percentile, things like touchdown to interception ratio, things like quarterback rating, and of course, adjusted yards per attempt are much more important, are much more impactful. Uh, you know, when it comes to, it's much more important to be a high-end person in touchdown to interception ratio than it is to be in a, a high-end person in yards per attempt when it comes to performing in that win percentile. So for all the people out there that think that yards per attempt is something, it, it, it's important. As I showed before uh, with uh, the stats before with, you know, just win percentile, um, yards per attempt is important. You should have, you should have at least a average yards per attempt uh, when it comes to, you know, getting into higher incomes, you know, higher outcomes, you know, like if you are a quarterback that is on a team that wins 90 percentile or higher in terms of win percentile, you should be 82 or higher. You should be in terms of yards per attempt, at least average when it comes to your yards per attempt. However, you should be much higher in terms of touchdown interception ratio, much higher in terms of quarterback rating, and much higher in terms of adjusted yards per attempt than than actual yards per attempt or completion percentage. Uh, you know, so basically, if you want to win more football games, if you want to have a higher win percentile, you should be looking for quarterbacks that have high touchdown to interception ratio, high quarterback rating, and high adjusted yards per attempt more often than yards per attempt and completion percentages. Uh, that I mean, that should be your focus, is to find quarterbacks that are high in those particular data points and not worry as much about yards per attempt and completion percentage in the long run when it comes to their data profile. So again, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.